40% of those loans are either delayed or they are defaulted. Now, this is one reason why the whole student loan debt conversation and canceling student debt is such a polarizing topic. And it's another reason why Dan Hooper, who founded ScholarShot, wrote a book warning people about systemic issues in our education system. Armed with the state's own data and a hard dose of reality, he says you can protect your kids from what he calls the student debt trap. If you just go through the system the way the system's designed, <laughs> it's going to chew you up and spit you out. Dan Hooper is a numbers guy, but he has a way with words. He left a consulting firm to start ScholarShot, a nonprofit helping first-generation college students earn a degree. But today, a high school diploma alone is a ticket to poverty. And our state does a terrible job transferring kids from high school diploma to whatever that ticket out of poverty is. Hooper says it's a lack of understanding what's best for the school rather than what's best for the student. Our universities don't care whether kids make it or not. We're glad to enroll you, happy to take your grants and your loans, but they will say, and we've heard this numerous times, we are not responsible for the financial or academic outcomes of our students. What are the outcomes? The average debt per degree in Texas is $45,000. Nine out of 10 at-risk students who get into college will drop out. Dropouts have around $17,000 in debt. They enroll the kids and really treat them like ATM machines. And um, it, it is by and large not the fault of our students when they drop out, it's the system. Hooper says a shift in the way we view college can change the system. Celebrate vocational certificates. 54% of Texas high school seniors pursue nothing after graduation. Don't let well-meaning high school counselors and teachers push you or your student to attend a shiny object school. SAT and ACT test scores indicate only 24% of high school graduates are ready for a four-year college. And you don't need to take on debt to pursue an associate degree or vocational certificate. Most students who attend community college qualify for grants. ScholarShot's program has actually reversed the state's outcome. Nine out of 10 of their scholars earn a degree with their average debt at or lower than $1,500. Now next week, we're going to look at what Hooper says are two systemic failures in Texas's education system. Numbers from the state that reveal fewer Texas graduates are pursuing some sort of post-secondary credential. But he says there is a way to improve these outcomes. And he's even written a book on it. Like I mentioned, it's mm -hmm. called Fleece You. You can get it now. But so much good information using the state's own data to tell the story. Well, when parents look at how you're going to pay for college or whatever a kid's going to do after they graduate from high school, you know, it's easy to understand why they're pulling their hair out. When you see that college uh, tuitions have far outpaced inflation and those numbers have gone up and up and up year after year and people have turned to debt, there's got to be a better solution. And one thing that Hooper says is really changing the language around what is considered college. College can be a one-year mm -hmm. vocational, a two-year degree. It doesn't mean just a four-year degree. And we need many of those vocations right now. Many. We are short right now. Yeah.